Okay, so this is a, a photo from 1984-1985. It's the Jacksonville River Run. In the picture, there's a nu numerous different Olympians. Uh, Ray Flynn from Ireland, Josephine Zhao, John Tuttle from the USA, and there I am. My name is Adrian Leek. I'm the general manager of Adidas Running. Um, I've been a runner all my life. I started running when I was 14 years old. My first pair of running shoes was the SL72. Midsole innovation over the years, Eddie Preen, Eddie Preen Plus. But we were always looking for what could be the next great uh, material outside of EVA. EVA has been in the marketplace for 30 years. So the whole initiative behind Ultra Boost was the world's best running shoe in terms of fit, feel, and transition. So fit with a seamless upper, which is fully knitted, feel with this boost, and, and then transition with a new way of a four-way stretch web outsole that was developed through our partners in AIT. So for us, it's a question of how can we make your run better. My name is Angus Wardlaw. I'm a director of Future for Running, and I'm part of the team that's involved with creating the latest concepts and the new concepts for running. When I was 12, 13, my school books were covered in drawings of shoes. So I think somehow there must have been something there. I, um, I studied mechanical engineering at university. I always had this feeling that I wanted to get into this industry. I've been back here in Germany for the last four years, pretty much working on Boost every single day. We have this tool, Aramis, which enables us to measure movement. Other companies that are using it, Boeing are using it, NASA are using it, BMW are using it. We're using the same technology to look into the human body. When you run, you move. Your foot moves, it changes shape. One thing that we saw, a huge opportunity, and I have this little friend of mine here to explain, is that when you land and when you go through the gait cycle, your foot wants to expand, particularly in the metatarsal joints here. If your foot's really constrained and constricted, you're not really able to have your natural run. And everyone has different running styles and different foot shapes. And one of the great things about Aramis is it allows us to quantify all this data, and eventually we create this whole pool of data. And it basically enables us to then build a set of parameters. And that's the key thing. We use the data to feed into the design of the shoe. What we do is we cover the shoe in all these little dots. And we have these two cameras that look at the dots simultaneously. And these cameras are tracking every single dot as you go through the running gate. What they're able to do is basically measure the movement. How are things changing shape during a run? And the higher, the brighter the colour, so the red colours, the orange and yellows is greater movement. That we can even look from underneath the shoe. But we have a whole team of wear testers, so we have, there's a crazy family in a weird forest in Germany that all they do is run. We chuck them some shoes occasionally and they just run like a thousand kilometres in a week. So um, they are a pretty good family to test shoes with. We test the shoe with elite athletes as well when they come in. Um, we have these, the wheel test machine. I think the best thing to do is like, for us, uh, with a product like this, we want to test it with the widest scope of people. It's meant to be for everyone. My name's Ben Harrith. I'm heading up the running design team here at Adidas. I've been here for 12 years. I first studied industrial design at the University of South Australia, uh, but I've always been drawing my whole life and I've always been fascinated by footwear and wanting to build and create. And this combination of sport and creativity is something that really drew me to Adidas. And one of the new areas we looked at was this S-cut shape on the heel. We really wanted to offset the beauty of the contours of the foot. So we looked and we studied foot shapes and then looked at uh, how do we exaggerate those contours? What you see here is a, a new shape that really holds and hugs the foot, um, but allows the shape to almost e exaggerate what, the beauty of the heel of the foot. We agonize over every detail and every millimeter on the shoe. 
right down to the Ultraboost logo. And we wanted to create a premium logo that was really like a badge on the side of the shoe. So actually we're inspired by the badge on the back of the BMW and, uh, and we actually went to the guys that make these badges and said, look, can you do this for us? We wanted this shoe not just to be an extension of yourself, but an extension of the city that you're running in. And so for the colors as well, we look to the most energizing moments of the day. City transforms from day to night and night to day and the, the hill counter reflects the night sky just as it changes from day to night and night to day. With this design, we were constantly evolving how much support, how much stretch we needed on the shoe. We have a more breathe, breathable zone um, and a stretch zone, but as you get down to the base of the tooling, it gets more and more tighter weave and more and more uh, supportive. You know, even if you know, we spend as much time on the inside of the shoe as the outside, um, really designing the top of the midsole as well as the bottom of the midsole, so it all comes together to feel unlike anything we've created before. Do, 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 do.